Dark Spectre Design Works. We make Howdy folks, today we're going to be looking at Power Rangers Lightning Collection, uh, oh, it's technically King Sphinx, but as I will let you know, he doesn't earn that title, I'm gonna call him Mr. Sphinx, the slightly better pumpkin wrapper. So yeah, I was uh, super excited for these, I like the Lightning Collection, it's not perfect, it's got its flaws, but uh, pretty cool. Love the monsters, love all the crazy creatures and stuff like that. So when they announced these, I was super excited. But unfortunately, I'm pretty disappointed, especially with Mr. Sphinx. Uh, it's just, it's bad. The uh, paint is beyond lacking. Uh, Hasbro always struggles with paint, it seems, or just doesn't use a lot of paint. But just the fact that his nose and mouth and teeth have, don't have a lick of paint on them is, is ridiculous. It's inexcusable. I don't know if it's a factory issue, or if they approved it like that, or what, but regardless, it's bad. So, we will be fixing that today. I'm going to show you how to do a very, very, very simple, if anyone can do it, uh, wash. We'll paint his nose, and his mouth, and teeth, and such like that. Also going to give a little bit of a wash to old Jack here, pumpkin wrapper, and maybe add some details and such like that too, but um, he's not as bad. All right, so we'll start out with uh, old Jack here. Looks pretty good. Um, definitely liking the paint, like I said earlier, but uh, sculpt is there. There's at least a little bit of paint, but definitely lacking. We'll fix that though. Go over their articulation real quick here. That's actually got some nice movement for as big and bulky as it is. Some tilt. Back. Decent amount of back and forward actually. Got uh, butterfly joints, which are actually pretty effective on him. Oh wow, look at that. Bicep swivel, open jointed elbows, up and down swivel, get diaphragm, loop, very, very tight ab crunch, very tight. Splits, thigh rotation, double knee, it rotates at the boot, sock thing, whatever the hell this is. Very, very tough detents here, which kind of stinks actually, because they're in bad positions, see? It's kind of actually getting hard to get him to stand. And a rocker. Some side. Take a look at the accessories. So this cool, very rigid blast effect, lightning effect. I don't know what you really want to call it. <laughs> Small uh, vine whip, pretty st stiff, but still a little flexible. A bigger vine whip, you can wrap around someone. Two alternate hands, fist in a uh, stance hand, I guess you could call it. And the coolest accessory these pumpkins. There's three of them. 
and they have a little spot and you could put them on the rangers or the putties or I guess anybody else but I know they work on those I'll show those in a second but, eh, decent enough sculpt paint I'll throw it on a putty here real quick Ugh, it's a little tough actually Most. Oh, there we go. Take a look at. Uh, I'm not going to call him King. We're going to call him Mr. Sphinx. He's busy. He's worthy of the King title here. Um, eh, the sculpt's not horrible, but man, the lack of paint is just a joke. But like I said, we're going to fix that. Okay, sculpting. Wings look okay, but that's actually how they look in the show, so we can excuse that. Look at articulation here. Head's restricted because of this headdress, but there you go a little bit. All the way around. He's got butterflies, kind of. Yeah, I guess he does. They're pretty useless, though. Yeah, you get a little bit of movement. Up, oh, but the shoulders, shoulder armor gets in the way. Swivel. Oh, jointed knee. Or, those are not knees, those are elbows, aren't they? Uh, uh, wrist articulation is almost non existent because of the way they sit in there. You can pull them out a little bit and get a little bit more room, but then they look goofy. So. Um, diaphragm rotation. Hula hoop, whatever you want to call it. Ab crunch. Which I typically think is usually pretty ugly, but it works really well here actually. Splits. Whoops, what fell off? His tail fell off. Very tight. Thigh cut. Double knees, once again, very, very tight. He's got interesting ankle articulation. It's kind of weird, but there's a lot of some decent movement. Up, back, and rock. A little lighter on the accessories. Comes with two hands, a staff. Actually, really cool energy effect. You can see, it's got uh, question marks on it. All right, let's get started with the customization here. Just mixing up a dark gray here for the wash. This is a super, super simple process. It's basically just slosh it on and wipe it off. Um, whenever you're doing a wash, I like a little thicker consistency. Uh, a lot of washes are super runny and they just don't seem to really stick. So, as you can see, I'm just grabbing some water with the brush and mixing it in as needed. And with washes and such, just, uh, just I just use the cheap uh, 50 cent paint from Walmart. It's There's no reason to buy the expensive heavy body stuff for this just wiping most of it off so just use the I think it's apple barrel uh, paint you get them for 50 cents or a dollar at Walmart and uh, just mix some tap water in with them usually uh, one coat is enough 
but uh, you can do as many as you feel like are necessary. You can also go lighter too if you don't want the shadows and such to be too dark. Giving them a wipe down afterwards just to get rid of any excess of moisture and water. Just working on the wings here, uh, same process, same thing. A lot of detail on the wings, a lot of deep crevices, so you can get a lot of uh, a lot of definition out of them. And his tail. I'm just using a heat gun to kind of speed up the dry time. Clean, clean, clean. Now I'm going to start working on the dry brushing. Um, when you're dry brushing, you basically want hardly any, basically zero paint on the brush. The more you have, the more it's going to go on, obviously. So. Let's see, I had a little too much on there, I think. Use a uh, stiff bristle brush when you do this. If the brush isn't stiff, it's just not gonna, not gonna work. You also want full coverage on the brush. That way, you have a little bit of a reservoir of paint on there. And this is just to bring out the highlights catch some of the texture. He doesn't have a ton on his body, but... Getting that pretty mug of his. And just use like a back and forth motion. Works really well. And just keep going until you're satisfied. You can do this as many times as you want and with as many different colors as you want. The more colors that you use, the more interesting the piece will be. And just doing the same thing to the wings. I like to get the uh, foam board from the dollar store and just use it as kind of like placemats. Maybe when you're done you can just pitch it and not have to worry about it. Paper plates work really well too, the cheap ones from the dollar store, I don't use the fancy expensive ones. And here I'm just doing the same dry brushing technique just with gold to kind of accent all the yellows. It's not the most accurate, he's pretty yellow in the show, but uh, you know, 
Gold and teal is a great color combination, so adds a little bit of sparkles. Just heat gun again just to speed up the drying process. Not necessary, but I'm impatient, so. Going back and adding a little bit more gray here. And now we're just going to touch up the red on his little uh, hieroglyphic loin cloth thingamabobber. The red on his chest. Sticks are your friend, especially toothpicks. These are just like bamboo skewers. It's easier to get in there sometimes than with a brush. Let's put a little bit of red on his mouth just to kind of so it's not just a black void in there. Yeah, tight little spaces like the eyes are always tricky. It took me a while to get it to where I liked it and was happy. I'm just touching up his face here. Just getting a close-up of the detail painting for his eyes. Like I said, sticks are your friend, especially pointy ones.
He's doing his teeth here. His chompers. And finally, that pesky nose. The whole reason I'm doing this thing. Well, it's gonna look a lot better regardless, but. And now we're just going to do his teal accents, just kind of lightly going over them, just to accent them, make them a little brighter. Cover up some of my crimes as well. And touching up the eye on his chest. The eye of Horus. And now he's getting his nails did. Simple stuff just like doing the nails makes such a huge difference. I don't know why Hasbro ever does it and pretty much any other figures. I'm just doing more touch-ups. Now his staff of raw. I don't know if that's actually the Staff Ra, but that's what I'm going to call it. Favorite things to do is use uh, clear nail polish. Um, it's kind of expensive if you get it at like Walgreens or Walmart, but they usually have it at the dollar store, so. It's nice and thick. It's almost kind of sort of like resin, not exactly, but uh, adds a great gloss to the eyes, to the nose, to the inside of his mouth. Anywhere you want a nice thick glossy coat. Figuring them out here, and now we're going to move on to Jack the pumpkin wrapper. So here I wanted a little bit more watery wash. I 
So once again, just slather it on and wipe it off. Super, super simple process. Jack's a lot easier than Sphinx, too. A lot less work needed for him. Just a couple washers and some dry brushes. Dry, 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 dry. Mixing up a dark green here to give a wash over to his green parts. No, his accessories, his pumpkins, and his vine whips, and all that such. His extra hand. I think I forgot to do the extra hand for Sphinx, but probably never use it, so no big deal. Thought that was funny. The paint I'm using is called Jack O' Lantern. <laughs> How fitting. Once again, just dry brush it right on. Very, very little paint on the brush. And uh, with Jack or with anybody with a lot of texture like this, you want to make sure you go perpendicular to the whatever it happens to be, in this case, his, I don't know what those are called on pumpkins, his grooves, his crevices, I don't know, that sounds kind of dirty, but, yeah, go perpendicular to it, uh, or against the grain, that probably might be a little bit easier to understand, if you go with the grain, you're just going to push paint into the uh, crevices and such, so, Always take a second just to stop and look, evaluate, see what needs what. And now just using a light green to dry brush his green bits. And his pumpkins. Dry brush was a little bit too white, um, so I'm just going over with a slightly brighter, darker orange here. And a little more green, too. I 
I'm just darkening up his eyes and his mouth a little bit. I didn't want to go black, but it was a little lighter than I'd like, so. I'm just touching up the yellow part, the little yellow ring in his, would that be, right eye. And yeah, that's about it for Mr. Pumpkin Wrapper. And here they are with the rest of the collection, looking pretty schnazzy. <laughs> 